make a quick vlog. Hold on. Um, so yeah. I got fed up today because I am so tired of everyone judging me, thinking they know what I'm thinking, and, and um assuming, you know, and using my past against me. So, uh, and tricking me. So, I'm tired of it. And, you know, they cursed my food today. You know, things that I eat. Things that I normally eat. Now, they cursed it. So, now if I eat it, then I like this person. Or I like these people. Or I like women. Or I like men. I like this. I like that. Or whatever. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know, leave me alone, oppressive Clevelanders. Leave me alone already. I mean, I have to go somewhere tomorrow, and I have to go to a few places to run errands. But other than that, I mean, I'm just going into my sewing class to finish a few things, and um, then I have to run some errands, and then I'll just come home and sit home. And yes, I will eat the food that has been cursed because it means nothing. I trust Jesus. I trust Jesus. I trust and trust Jesus. So I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of any curses or any spells or anything like that. They usually do work for like a minute and then Jesus takes them away. <clears throat> so I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I trust Jesus. And... But that's what, I mean, just a whole bunch of frustration just welled up in me again. I know it wells up every once in a while, and I just have to get it out. And thank goodness for this vlog, because I can vent a little bit to someone, to well, to whoever listens. And so I'm venting, and now I'm done. Now I'm done. I had a semi-productive day. I did laundry and I hung it out to dry. I did another load. I did three loads of laundry and hung them all out to dry. The last load is still drying here in my room. The other ones, I did jackets and sweaters, and they're hanging up somewhere else. And I did some pants and some clothes. I hung them up outside, and now because nighttime and I can't really wash my clothes I have them here inside drying so yeah um so that's what that is and um I also went grocery shopping which was nice because now I have food in the house I don't have to run to the store every five minutes for food or a sandwich or anything I have plenty of food now to last me, and, um, yeah, yeah, I'm excited about finishing up a few projects, you know, I really am, and so I'll go in tomorrow to, um, the sewing class if I am awake, because it's late at night right now, and I am still awake, so we'll see. If I'm awake enough to go, then I will go and finish my projects. But yeah, yeah. And what else? So I am, you know, I am just biding my time. I'm just biding my time. Until I can leave Cleveland and leave these people behind. Because these are the same people who, like, want me to suffer mentally, emotionally, physically, and uh, spiritually. They want me to suffer. These are all, all of them. They, I'm, Cleveland, not all Clevelanders, but a lot of Clevelanders just want me to suffer. That's all they want. They want me to suffer and suffer and suffer. It's not good enough for them to have me 
sitting at home and doing nothing, I also have to suffer. And I don't feel like suffering right now. I feel happy with Jesus. I'm frustrated, but anyone would be in this type of situation, you know? But I'm not angry. I'm not hurt. I'm not whatever. I'm just frustrated. Frustrated. And I can't be frustrated with Jesus because he works on his own time. He works on his own timeline. And so that's fine. It's just that more and more stuff, you know, when I start to leave the house, it, it starts up again and it starts up again. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I like to be at home. I really do. I like to be at home. I like, you know, my house. I like, I like to be at home. But uh, there are things that I need to do every once in a while. And I have to do them. I've got to get out there and do these things. So, I don't know. But my men, oh, I, that was right. Yesterday, I recorded, or was it the day before? One of those days, I recorded a vlog. And I said, I'm going to make more of the purses. And they said that I cannot sell them to anyone. That they sold in the stores. And they sold out. But Marissa cannot sell any purses on her own here in Cleveland. No Clevelander will be able to get one of her purses. And people are demanding that the sewing school teach them how to make the purse and put it in the curriculum. But we are not allowing it. This is one of Marissa's creations. And we're not going to allow people to duplicate it. All right. I would, but we're not going to. We won't. Marissa would, but we won't. Yeah, because I don't really hold a grudge. You know, I know, I know Clevelanders, you know, they're oppressive and all that. But who cares if they know how to make a purse that I made? I don't care. Well, we do. We do. Okay, so yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're oppressive. But, I'm, like, I don't hold a grudge against them because I know this is how they are and it's been my whole life. It just was frustrating. It was a little frustrating. But now that I vented and I got it out of my system, I feel much better. I feel much, much better. Yeah, and, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, they told me that I cannot sell the purse. So, you know, I'd like to be able, I was thinking, I had this whole plan in mind that I'd be at the festivals this summer with racks, with a, with a stand and racks of homemade purses and little change purses and stuff that I made. <laughs> And my man won't let me. And we won't let her. We will not let her. Marissa doesn't have to worry about money. She'll have money. But we will not allow her to sell her things here in Cleveland. All right. Oh, well. I guess I don't sell at the festivals. I guess. Craft fairs, festivals, all that, you know. Ooh, craft fairs are coming up. Ooh, I can sell. No, you can't. All the winter craft fairs. I love them so much. But a lot of them have stopped selling crafts, and they're just selling, like, you know, party light, or which I love. Don't get me wrong. They're just selling, like, through um, third-party things, you know. I mean... I love party light. I haven't been to a party like party in years and years and years. But I bought some really nice things from party light. And they're all gone now. But I did enjoy the thing. I enjoyed them for a little while. And now I don't have them. But uh, so they're like selling things like that. At least the last couple that I've heard about. Because I didn't go and... Well, one I went to, and then I heard about the other 
few. So, you know, but real crafts, real crafts would be nice, you know, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of craft fairs have real crafts, but I would love to sell some purses or change purses at a craft fair, and we will not allow it. Anyway, so, uh, my men won't allow it, so I just have to accept it because they're in charge. They're in charge of me, and I have to go with what they say because they know best. They know more things than I do, and so I have to listen to them. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I have, um... I have two sweaters that need to be addressed with uh, holes in them, like this one. This one, the sleeve. The sleeve opened up. The sleeve opened up. And this one, again, the sleeve, but at the top. Open. I can't see if you can see it. I don't know. But at the top, it opened up. And so I got to address those. Um... I don't know. I don't know what else to say. You know, I started off all upset and now I feel calm again. I feel happy and calm. I guess it's just the question of venting and then getting it out of your system. So, I have no ill will towards anyone here in Cleveland. I really don't. I really don't. I just want to leave, you know, let them be and just go. Go. Far away from them all. And this will happen. This will happen. But Marissa has to wait until Jesus allows her. Yeah. I have to wait. So I'll just bide my time. I'll just bide my time. Good thing I like being at home. You know, I like being at home. I really do. I really do. Anyway, uh, so what else? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't have, I still don't have anywhere to, um, put my clothes here downstairs. So I'm going to be putting some shelving in, not on the walls, but just some shelves and folding up the clothes and ha putting them on there. Bringing the sewing table down. I know I've been saying that for a long time now, but I really will now. And and, um, and then just getting started on the stuff. I want to paint the floor. You know, the, the laminate that was on there was destroyed by the dogs. And so we have, um, not hardwood floor, but planks planks, uh, plywood planks, and, um, I would like to paint them, but then I'd have to finish, uh, finish them with, with whatever you put on it, varnish, I don't know if you put varnish on floors or whatever you put on the floors, I'd have to finish them, and if you don't do it right, it looks terrible, so, I mean, and then buff it, and then, yeah. Yeah, I might have to get someone to do that part, but, uh, and I know I have to sand it and clean it really, really well, and then prime it, and then paint, and then, uh, varnish it and all that. It's a long process, it's a long process, and I don't know if I'm going to do the whole floor or just one piece, because there is some laminate on some of the floor, so, but right in the center, there's a big open spot where there's no laminate. And I was thinking some nice designs would be good, you know. And I'm not allowed to tell you what kind of designs I want to put on the floor. But I have some designs in mind, you know. <clears throat> I think your designs are better. Well, I don't know what's better. I don't know. We'll see what I decide when the time comes, you know. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, 
that's my day today. I wrote I wrote I wrote a journal entry just to get the rest of it out. And let me see if there's anything I want to share from the journal entry. Let's see. Let's see. There's a crisscross skirt. So snake on a crisscross skirt. The dolphin. Okay, I am currently awake at 2.30 a.m. That is nothing new. I often stay awake all night. Tonight, I listen to a podcast, listen to a few songs by Journey. I ha- I hung laundry up in my room. I went to the store twice to get pop. The first time, I also bought chocolate-covered almonds, two packs, sea salt, caramel, and dark chocolate. And that's all I'm going to share. So, just a rundown of what I did tonight. And now I'm making a vlog. So, one more thing. Um, yeah, you know, somehow my prayers are being interfered with. And I don't know how they're getting into my prayers. But, you know, they are. It's like they're infiltrating my prayers. And... It's really annoying because, you know, I, I'd like to say my prayers, but then I suddenly see someone and picture um, a time when they got upset with me, and then it's like they're cursing me and all that while I'm praying. And then I have to stop because I'm like, why are they... In- Is it that I'm not focused enough? Is it that I don't have enough faith? I don't know. It's not that she's not focused, and it's not that she doesn't have enough faith. It's the fact that these women who practice magic are not, are never going to stop and will do anything they can to get to Marissa, especially to block her prayer, because they know that prayer is powerful. Yeah, so, I mean, they've been interfering with my prayers for, like, about two weeks now. And it's really, really getting on my nerves. I mean, what can I do, though? I mean, I want to pray. I want to pray. And I feel sorry for them because, you know, little things. They're tiny little things that... They got annoyed with, and now they're coming to me to curse me about, you know? I don't know. That's why I say, if you encounter a witch, run and pray. Run and pray. Oh, my gosh. They're so, they are so destructive. And, And they get angry over the the smallest things. The smallest things make them angry. So, and then they have to get even. And they don't stop getting even. I mean, they just keep getting even and get, they get angry about it again. They get even again. It's terrible. It's terrible. But I trust Jesus. So, you know, all the curses and the spells and everything, they work for a little while. I think I said this. They work for a little while and then they're gone. You know, because I trust Jesus completely, 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 completely. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this vlog and I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right. Bye.